Hi everyone, I'm Big Al, the online trainer. I sell uh, items on eBay, on by Amazon, and other locations, Facebook, etc. Um, today I thought I'd share a wee bit of information regarding the idea of an MC11. Now the MC11, I have been a victim of quite recently, and I've gone through the pain, the two weeks pain, that I've had now. I've had it with every account that I've owned. I have currently five accounts. And every time the MC11 have been totally debilitating um, and more or less disabled the, the company to a point where the units were, or the, the, the sites were no longer viable. Uh, but I, tried to, I decided to fight it this time, fight it through. And as I've said in previous videos, the MC11 is a complete dread. It's automated, it closes you down, it takes your money, and it tells you more or less to provide evidence that you've purchased the stock. Now, ultimately, it's sometimes where you buy your stock, it's gonna be hard. If you're a, if you're a turner, such as a person who goes and goes to the likes of a market, buys stock and brings it home to sell it on eBay, you have no chance because you know proof of evidence or evidence of receipts. So it's going to be a nightmare to keep your your business running after the MC11 has enacted. Now, I've been told recently, so I have grown my business. We've now become an eBay anchor store. We're doing sales of approximately a thousand pounds a day or more um, in in our sales, and it's growing. It's doing very well. We've employed our fifth member of staff. Sales are doing well. We've expanded from batteries into tech, tech into aerosols, aerosols, and even Rizla papers, cigarette papers, that sort of stuff. We're now going into hardware DIY stuff, and we decided to buy a pallet of incense sticks there. So the, the company's growing. Um, and we got an account manager because of the MC11, and they more or less work with companies who are legitimate have provided evidence that they're they're a good company but they keep on falling in this mc11 net that is automated and quite punitive on ebay's behalf now in my time i've only seen ebay as a punitive and a destructive business where you're constantly trying to escape the traps of the big slaps by ebay but recently that has changed um the whole demeanor and their whole production of how they uh, continue trading is is changing. And I think eBay sees this um, as a very positive aspect to how they're seeing their business grow. So, you know, it was only a month ago I was given up on eBay and we were reached out by the Irish team. Um, I'll not say his name, um, but he is an absolutely superb account manager. He's not going to look after me forever. I wish he could, um, but... He's not going to look after me forever. Now, account managers are not really needed that much. They just need it for wee problems such as scammers, um, negative feedback that's totally uh, outrageous and unfair. Now, the eBay system says, the computer says no. Uh, if you put in a negative feedback review, the de default reply with a ne neg negative feedback review is just don't do it. You know, the customer's allowed their opinion, even if it's quite damning. Um and unfair and rude and deplorable and you know anyway so the account manager said to me the mc11 um and i've now realized that the mc11 is simply a process a process that you may not be ever hit with ever again but the mc11 i think they refer to it as a 72 or 72 something in internal speak but the mc11 that we refer to the what i call the dreaded mc11 that um, that process should take no more than two weeks. If it does take more than two weeks, that's purely because the eBay rep hasn't, who's dealing with it, is just not dealing with it, or you haven't provided the right details, or they don't understand the details you've sent and just, you know, they're having a bad day. I don't know. My one took about four weeks and the losses were phenomenal. I lost about eight grand in that four weeks um, in refunds and that sort of stuff because you just can't sell products to a customer when you're not getting paid so um the situation quite simply is how to get past an e mc11 how to get through it when you get an e mc11 act on it immediately 
um, provide your documentation, your photo ID um, and a utility bill registered through the address that's registered to the eBay site. Now, if you're if you're faking it and you've got another address and you're sending to and from a post office or a PO box, you're going to get caught in this trap. Um, you have to be legitimately uh, where the product's going, where the product's being dispatched from, where you're purchasing the products from, the credit card attached to the file to the address that you've got, and the company or the sole trader um, with proof of evidence that's saying that that it is you at your address with this name and this face. And ultimately, if they get all that, they're happy. Now, the MC11 could go to the further point where they're asking you to provide evidence of the purchase. Now, the good news is I have limited suppliers. I, I only have one main key supplier of my product. Um, and I pay for it using my credit or debit cards, depending on how much money or I've spent that week. Um, and then, of course, I then get the bill addressed to me. The credit card has a link to the invoice and it all matches. Um, and I buy quite a lot of product every week. So I got it matched. It did take a lot longer. But that's the way it is. So the account manager is saying to me, you know, Al, if you need, if you do need um, uh, or you do get an MC11, act on it quickly. Put in as much as you can without confusing the issue. Balance it out for them and they will clear it down for you and get you back on your road. The longer you wait, the longer you procrastinate, the longer you have problems, the more your business is going to be damaged and you're going to be put to the back of the queue when it comes to listings. So whatever you do, act upon it. Now, you know, if you heard me four weeks ago, I would have damned eBay. Um, but since I've been working with um, our, our Irish counterparts in regard to getting the resolution of my account, he has continually uh, imposed absolutely glorifying um, product help, um, product placement help, coupon help, He's just been phenomenal. This guy is phenomenal. This is eBay. You know, this is eBay, guys. And unfortunately, he did say to me, which is unfortunate, he deals with only, you know, he's got um, five in his team. This is a very small team that started up. And he said that, they, you know, there's approximately 250 counts. They, they look after approximately 50 each day or each week. Um, and unfortunately, they're not limited to anything else. Now, it's becoming a success story, according to him. Um, the people that are getting through, they're helping them. They're growing them. And in response, the sellers are creating so much confidence in these in these people, such as my account manager. We're investing. We're investing. We're promoting. We're growing. You know, as I said, I've gone into smoky papers, incense, you know, aerosols. I've, I've, I've expanded my range of selling on eBay rather than Amazon. I've actually stopped selling and listing on Amazon purely because I feel that this is going to work for me. And um, all I can say reaching out to eBay is thank you, guys. Thank you, eBay. Thank you for everything you're doing. And I, I you know, I think you deserve now, by the way you're going, you deserve your commission. You know, you take quite a lot of my money. Um, each month and um, it's more expensive than me owning a brick and mortar store because I just have to pay simply rent and rates and insurances whereas with eBay they take a commission of everything I sell so they take a portion of everything I sell so the rent rates is cheaper now in comparison to the amount of money that I make on eBay last with one of the accounts you know I made nearly uh, 40,000 pounds this month which is just phenomenal sales um, for one account. Five accounts I have. Some are only doing a hundred pounds. Some are doing a couple of thousand, and some of them doing ten thousand. So we're doing very well. But I intend to have that expand. Now this is the goal. The MC 11s passed. I think my woes are over. I've got a point of contact who knows what he's doing. He's got powers within eBay. He's really providing uh, myself and therefore eBay with empowerment to get this business growing using Amazon click, uh, click, uh, bait, click, uh, was it click or sale, whatever they do. I'm paying for promotions. I'm paying, 
now to click um it's more or less i pay for every time someone clicks on my account and that's promoting my listings to the front to the top so i'm buying top spot um through google search this is all working this is doing well so ebay's doing absolutely well we can i can see a future with ebay and i can see yeah ebay growing from this so all the other traders that are that are subscribed to my channel guys take account take take note ebay's coming ebay's coming for us they're they're changing now there's a couple of ebay traders that i know in america that are still saying how bad it is to trade on ebay i i i've only been at this now for a month with the new system and the new process but they're coming and i have a funny feeling this is going to grow i can see it it's going to grow so guys Keep fighting eBay. Keep trying to ask for special um, service. Tr try and call them. Say you want to be put up to the manager. Say you've got issues. Tell them you want to reach out to these these special team, and get this this um, this MC11 removed as quick as possible. And hopefully, you know, you'll see a dramatic or you know dramatic change in how this is delivered for you. Um, I'll keep you posted how I'm growing. Um, you know, as I said, this we've got three pallets that we haven't even opened up yet, um, waiting to be listed. And um, I'm excited for the future. I'm excited for my business. I feel that it's just going to go bang and it's purely down to eBay. So well done, eBay. Thank you, eBay. And I am looking forward to the next 10 years of trading with you. I have been trading you from the, with a start. And it's been the most problematic and uh, love-hate relationship I've ever had. However, I think I've just got into bed with a new eBay, a new model, a new version. And I can tell you, it's just looking really cool. So I'll keep you posted, everyone. Keep me subscribed. Please hit the like button and always put the alert on because this is vital for me to grow the business so I can share my story. As I said... This is going to be the future. And, you know, if you keep posted with me, I'll update you every time I get a I get a um, an issue that I know the defects have been helped. You know, any unfair defects that are being removed. Fair ones stay on. It's only fair. eBay have to keep the fair negative remarks of um, of a high level of intensity or um, are just totally wrong or outrageous. They're also removed. Um, the fair comments such as, you know, I got a wrong battery, um, that they stay on. And so this all being firm, but fair. And I love the new operation. I just wish everybody who is a legitimate small to medium enterprise, who is doing legitimate sales with eBay, you're going to be caught. You're going to be grabbed by eBay now. They just want you. It's like you can see it. There's a hunger to get us right. So let's 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 get this running, guys. Let's get eBay up and running and let's stop going with, you know, I mean, Amazon. I've stopped. Amazon can be tight. They're not they're, they're going to compete with you. Amazon's going to compete with you. Amazon's going to throw sh 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 stuff in your way. I was going to swear there. They're going to throw, you know, they don't pay you within a reasonable time. Everything is, to me, getting better on the eBay front. We'll see. We'll keep it posted. All right, guys, like, subscribe, and please put the alerts on, and I'll keep you updated of everything that's happening. Um, it'll be every couple of days, of course, because I'm quite busy. Um, I've got a quiet spot to, to do this. We're getting a new studio done. We've got a new office going downstairs, a big office for everyone to sort of stay in a group. Um, and uh, we'll probably start doing the videos down there rather than up here in the picking packing room. So keep me po keep posted, guys, and let's hope we can uh, we can grow together. All right.